Hi there. I'm Piggy the Pangolin. I roll up into a ball and I'm scared. Or if I think I'm being attacked. Most of the time, I live in Singapore's forest, like this one here at Central Catchment Nature Reserve. Who can tell me what can usually be found in a forest? Ow! Okay, my head has just given you a clue. That's right, trees. Did you know that I can climb trees? Let me climb up this tree and show you its different parts. These are roots. They help to hold the tree firmly in the ground and take in water for the tree. This is the trunk which helps the tree to grow tall to reach for sunlight and transport water to the leaves. These are branches, which help the tree to spread out its leaves. And these are leaves. The tree breathes through its leaves. Leaves also help the tree to make food. Trees don't need to eat because the leaves make food for it. Can you name the different parts of the tree with me? Ready? Go! Roots, trunk, branches, leaves. It's very important that we look after our trees. Shall I tell you why? Trees are very useful and can help us in many ways. Would you like to know how? Fantastic! Okay, follow me! Wow, look at this tree. It's called a Maranti tree. Can we say that together? Ready? Maranti! Trees like the Maranti tree have a very special job to do for Singaporeans like us. What do you think it is? Well, let me ask you a question. Is Singapore hot or cold? That's right! It's hot and the Maranti tree gives us shade, like a big green umbrella. Trees are natural umbrellas. What do they protect us from? That's right! The hot sun! But imagine if this happens. Oh no! Imagine if trees disappeared! Do you think that would be a good thing or a bad thing? That's right! It would be a bad thing! No more trees means no more natural umbrellas and cool shade for us! Oh look! Don't these look like little helicopters? They are actually the fruits of the Maranti tree! The fruits are carried away by the wind and when they land, the seeds can grow into new trees! Isn't that good news? That means we will always have lots of trees in Singapore. More trees in Singapore is good because too much sun oh, makes me sleepy. Where was I? Uh, oh yes! Do you want to learn about another tree in Singapore? Great! I'm going to show you a tree that your daddy or mommy keeps in his or her pocket. If you want, you can keep this tree in your pocket too. It's a big tree, but you can keep it in your pocket. Do you want to know what this tree is? Okay then, follow me. Can you see it? That's the tree you keep in your pocket. It's called a Tambusu tree. This tree is more than 150 years old and is 30 meters tall. It can be found at the Singapore Botanic Gardens. Look at its beautiful cream-colored flowers. Aren't they pretty? And the smell. <laughs> ah, such a beautiful smell. Ew, I need to take a shower. Ah, you want to know how this huge tambusu tree fits into your pocket, right? Watch this. Not that way, the other way. Let's turn it over. There it is, there it is. The Tambusu tree is on the back of Singapore's $5 note. The note is green in color, just like the tree. Has anyone got a $5 note to give me? Anyone? Anyone at all? No one? Okay, never mind. But the next time you see a $5 note, remember to look for the Tambusu tree. Wait, what's this? It's getting very, very windy. Hold on. Ah! This wind is too strong. There's nothing to stop the wind. I can't hold on for much longer. We need to find some...
Tasharina trees! Ah, that's so much better. These lovely trees are Casharina trees. Now, you might have seen the Casharina trees at East Coast Park. They are called windbreaks because they break the wind. They are so tall and big, they block the wind. So sometimes in Singapore, we plant lots of Casharina trees in a row to keep the wind away. Look at that, no wind. Isn't that clever? They provide shelter. In fact, for some animals, trees are shelters all the time. They are their homes. Come and look at this. But you must be very, very quiet. Shh. Here at Central Catchment Nature Reserve, the trees provide shelter for animals like these long-tailed macaques. These monkeys live and sleep on the branches of tall trees where they feel safe. But trees also help other, much smaller animals. Do you know what animal this is? That's right, it's a caterpillar. One day it will turn into a beautiful Alice moth, like this one. This tree here provides food for the caterpillar of the Atlas moth. It's called a galam tree. Look closely at the tree's bark. What color is it? Yes, it is white. This makes it easy to spot in Singapore. Did you know that the galam tree is not only important to animals, but useful to people too? Oil taken from the galam tree can be used to make ointments and medicine. We can rub the oil on our aches and pains to make us feel better. We are lucky to have so many different types of trees in Singapore. This one here has a very interesting name. It's called a fish poison tree. That's because the fruits are poisonous to fish. And some fishmen use the fruits to help them catch fish. But I like this tree because it has such pretty flowers. Don't they look like pom-poms? So Singapore's trees help people and animals in lots of ways. In fact, trees help one really special animal. A really cute and handsome animal. Do you want to know who that animal is? It's me! Trees are home to lots of ants and termites. My favorite food. And it's time for my dinner! I hope you enjoyed our adventure. And remember how important our trees are for all of us. Enjoy them, but most of all, look after them. Bye!